Another type of growth model is a, an exponential growth model. This differs from a linear model because in a linear model, our growth is the same each amount of time. In an exponential growth model, our growth depends on the size of the thing that we're measuring. If a quantity starts at size p naught and grows by r percent, which we'll write with the, in the decimal form, little r, uh, every time period, then the quantity after n time periods is determined using one of these formulas. We have a, our recursive form, which simply says, take the amount that we have and multiply by 1 plus r, and that will give us the amount for the next time period. And the explicit form, which we can write as p sub n equals, and then 1 plus r to the n times p naught, or you can flip around the p naught, put it first, which is a more standard form that we generally use. Let's do an example. Suppose that every year only 10% of the fish in a lake have surviving offspring. If there were 10, well, sorry, 100 fish in the lake last year, there would now be 110 fish. If there were 1,000 fish in the lake last year, there would now be 1,100 fish. Suppose our lake began with 1,000 fish. Since we start with 1,000 fish, p naught is equal to 1,000. How do we calculate p1? Well, this is our formula. Because we're just finding the next time period, we can use our recursive formula that p sub n is equal to 1 plus r times p sub n minus 1. p sub 1 then is equal to 1 plus 10 percent as a decimal, which is 0.1, times p sub 0. Well, that's 1.1 times the p naught, which is 1,000. 1.1 times 1,000 is the 1,100. So that's how the formula works in uh, the, the recursive formula works for an exponential growth model. Let's look at another example. Between 2007 and 2008, Olympia, Washington grew almost 3% to a population of 245,000 people. If this growth rate was to continue, what would the population of Olympia be in 2014? Here, we know that our growth rate is the 3%, so r is 0 0.03. Our initial population, p naught, that we know is the 245,000 people and that occurred in the year 2008. To find the population in 2014, we're looking for p sub 6, because that is 6 years after 2008. So using our explicit model for exponential growth, we have p sub n equals p naught times 1 plus r to the n. So p sub 6 is p naught, which is 245,000, times 1 plus r, 0 0.03, to the n, which is 6. Plugging this into a calculator, we get 292,542.8, approximately. However, we are talking about a population here. So it doesn't really make sense to have a 0.8 because we're talking about people. And so we'll, we'll use that to round this up to a 43.